Now another 8 to 10 years have passed. Between these two IR, 57 and 58. Now again a pause of about 10 years or 9 years or 8 years at least. When you know eight, 7 years went okay, normal harvest, whatever was being you know, reaped, most of it was taken into the storehouses, stored, except the you know rationing given to the people, the, the lesser the, the better. Now the famine starts and it is the eighth year now when the famine starts and it is proved in history. It was a very widespread famine. It affected not only the Egypt but the adjoining areas of Palestine and Syria. And now Hazrat Yaqub along with his 11 sons he was residing in Palestine. And here Yusuf was in Egypt. But the draft was so severe and the famine was so widespread that this affliction came to them also. But they came to learn that well in Egypt there is a king and he you know has a minister or someone who manages the things and he is kind enough and he can give grain and you know foodstuffs to other people also. So they used to come and get you know from there some grain. But now Yusuf, now the brothers of Yusuf came. They presented him before Yusuf Who are you? This is our land. And this grain we have stored for ourselves. How come you? You, you don't deserve it. So the, because it was an unusual thing. So they had to be presented. That there some people have come from far away. And they want you know. That some grain should be issued, issued to them. Far off a home. He recognized them. Oh they are my brothers. But they couldn't recognize him. And when he had provided them with the provisions, now they were ten. Hazrat Yaqub had not let bin Yamin go with them. It seems that with every, for every family, some mayor fixed. This much amount, this much weight will be allowed as a ration for one year for each family. So now ten of them with they came and they said another family, another brother who is there behind, you know, he has not come with us. He said, okay, but this time when you come, you bring that brother also. Bring to me the brother you have from your father, not your mothers, but your father. Don't you see that I fill the the I fill the mayor. I am the best of the hosts. If you don't bring him to me, then you, will find, you won't find any mayor of these grains with me. And don't, don't approach me. Don't come to me at all. They said we shall try to entice our father. Now he has become very careful about Benjamin because what had happened to Yusuf, you know, so he was over careful now but we'll try to entice him and we'll do it inshallah we shall be able to do it and he that is Yusuf said to his boys you know fityanehi who were working mayoring and giving you know rations distributing he said put their merchandise in their own saddle bags now what price they could offer people of the desert coming from the desert might be some skins of animals, some wool, something of this sort. They had brought as, to pay as a price. So he said, okay, whatever they had brought, put them back, put these things in their saddlebags. So that, So that when they, they go back, back to their families, they remember it. And they recognize it. So that they will come again. That he was so gracious to us. He gave us the ration and the grains and then you know he returned to us our merchandise. When they returned back to their father, Hazrat Yaqub they said, Oh our father, one mayor has been denied to us because he said if you have another brother bring him here then only I will give you know his part, his portion of the ration. So please send with us our brother Binyamin. Naktal, we shall have another mayor. 
وَإِنَّا لَهُ لَحَافِظُونَ And we shall protect him fully. قَالَ هَلْ آمَنُكُمْ عَلَيْهِ إِلَّا كَمَا آمِنْتُكُمْ عَلَىٰ أَخِيهِ He said, should I entrust you to him, entrust him to you, just as I entrusted his brother to you before? فَاللَّهُ خَيْرٌ حَافِظَا Allah is the best protector. وَهُوَ أَرْحَمُ الرَّاحِمِينَ The most merciful of all the mercifuls. فَلَمَّا فَتَحُوا مَتَعَوْا And now when they opened their, you know, goods, وَجَدُوا بِذَاتَهُمْ رُدَّةٍ And they found their merchandise returned to them. قَالُوا يَا بَنَا مَا نَرْغِي Now again they said, Oh, our father, what can we desire more? هَذِهِ بِذَاتُنَا رُدَّةِ لَيْنَا Our own merchandise has been returned to us. وَنَمِيرُوا أَهْلَنَا وَنَحْفَذُوا أَخَانَا and we shall get provision for our family and guard our brother. And shall get an extra measure of a camel's load. And this is a very easy thing to get. This may another mayor. So send, please send our brother with us. He said, No, I'm not at all going to send him with you. Hatta to to min Allah. Until you have a solemn pledge by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لَتَعْتُنَّنِي بِهِ That you will definitely bring him back to me. إِلَّا يُحَاتَ بِكُمْ Except that you are all rendered helpless. You are all encircled. Then it is something else. But never come to me without him. And you have to give me this solemn pledge. فَلَمَّا أَتْ فَلَمَّا آتَوْهُ مَوْسِقَهُمْ When they gave him his solemn pledge, قَالَ اللَّهُ عَلَى مَا نَقُولُ وَكِيلُ Then they said, then he said, Okay, now Allah is the witness and guardian over what we are saying. This is an agreement. وَقَالَ يَا بُنَيَّا يَا بَنِيَّا And he said, Oh my sons, لَا تَدْخُلُوا مِنْ بَابٍ وَاحِدٍ Don't enter that city from one gate because people will say, Eleven are coming. So actually, maybe, they feel some jealousy in their minds, 11 brothers together. So, وَدْخُلُوا مِنْ أَبْوَابٍ مُتَفَرَّقَةٍ So you enter the town different from different gates, two from this, three from this, so that you don't appear to be a big, you know, group. وَمَا أَغْنِي أَنْكُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ مِنْ شَيْءٍ I cannot save you from Allah anything. إِنِ الْحُكْمُ إِلَّا لِلَّهِ All authority is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. عَلَيْهِ تَوَكَّلْتُ on him I have placed all my trust and faith. And surely on him should all the believers and all those who have who want to put any trust, in him should they put their trust. And when they entered from where their father had uh, asked them to enter. Yaqub couldn't save them from Allah anything. إِلَّا حَاجَةً فِي نَفْسِ يَعْقُوبَ قَضَاهَا Except that it was only a craving in Yaqub's heart and he satisfied it. وَإِنَّهُ لَزُوْ عِلْمٍ لِمَا عَلَّمْنَاهُ And he knew all the knowledge which we had given to him. The knowledge which we gave, he had it. The knowledge which we didn't give, didn't have it. So it appears that the knowledge which was given was that Yusuf is alive and he will return to you. But the knowledge which was not given where he is, he didn't know. And that was, you know, very, going to be very hard for him for so many long years. And if you, if you feel, and if you know that your son has died, you have buried him. You know, after some days, you know, you have the patience and you, you get just forget. But knowing he is living, but not knowing where he is, in what conditions he is. Maybe he is a slave, maybe he is being, you know, put to hardships. So these things, you know, they were bothering Hazrat Yaqub alayhi salatu was salam very much. And due to this grief and sorrow, you know, he had lost his uh, eyesight. He had became blind, practically blind, weeping and weeping and weeping. Because he knew he's, he's alive. But where he is and in what condition he is, don't know. Innahu lazu ilmin lima allamnahu. Walakin aksar and aksar la but most of the people don't know. وَلَمَّا دَخَلُوا عَلَىٰ يُوسُفَ آوَا إِلَيْهِ أَخَاهُ And when they entered on Yusuf alayhi salatu wa salam, he called his brother to him privately. قَالَ إِنِّي أَنَا أَخُوكُ And he said, I am your brother. 
فلا تب تائس بما کانو یا ملور ناؤ ڈونٹ ریمین ڈس ہارٹ اینڈ ود واٹ دے ہیو بین ڈوئنگ دوز ڈیز آر ناؤ گون بیکاز یو نو دے مسٹ ہیو بین ڈوئنگ بیڈ ٹو دس بن یامین آلسو دی کیریکٹر دیٹ دے ہیڈ سو ہی سیڈ اوکے آئی ایم یور بردر اینڈ یو ول اسٹے ود می اینڈ ناؤ یور ڈیز آف سفرنگ آر گون 